So viewers often ask us about how a story that really captured their hearts turned out later on. In depth tonight, Brian Mastery updates us on Jelly. Remember, she's the little girl who needed a halo to help her heal. Take a look at how she's doing now. Hello, baby. Yeah, it's time to do. When we last met Jelly a month ago, Jelly is her nickname for Angelica. Her infectious smile and singing voice. Let it go. Come back anymore. Warmed our hearts. I love my mommy. She talks about her mom three or four days a week at least. I love your mom. You love your mom? Yeah. The halo reminded her of her mother, like an angel's. Her mom died in the same crash that injured her in North Platte around Thanksgiving. And I got a halo on? Jelly suffered a number of serious injuries, and the halo helped her spine heal. Can you wait to get that thing off? Yeah. Then you could, when, when you get this off, then you go in the water. And this week, it came off. Her father tells me Jelly was really excited about it, but without the extra weight up high, her balance was a little off. The marks on her head will go away over time, and she'll have to wear a neck collar for a month. But otherwise, doctors say it's a remarkable recovery. And as hero of the month at UNMC, she celebrated the halo removal in style. With photographer Jim Hinchek, I'm Brian Mastry, WWT6 News. And some more good news to report. Jelly's father tells us she has had no pain since the halo was removed.